everybody, my name is Alex Chacon. I'm currently in India in what I consider to be one of the most exciting places to drive a motorbike in the entire world. Motorbikes are one of the most affordable forms of transportation in the world. That's why there are over 200 million of them worldwide. Riding in India is unlike anywhere else in the world. There are unique challenges, a deeply rooted motorcycle culture, and epic scenery you won't see anywhere else. The entrance, the beginning to the Himalayas. It is spectacular. Hands down, the best thing about motorbiking in India is taking the famous road trip to Ladakh up to the Himalayan mountains. One of the most famous and iconic road trips in the world. It's a two to 3,000 kilometer road trip from Delhi, taking anywhere from seven to 30 days to complete. It traverses Himachal, Ladakh, and Jammu Kashmir, where you'll experience rolling hills, deserts, snow-capped mountains, rough road conditions, and some of the most incredible views you'll ever see. I love driving a bike here on the streets because there's so much life, there's so much excitement, there's so much traffic, it's just chaotic, it is a chaotic mess, and it is the most fun time you will have. However, the reality is that traffic is a challenge in most of India, even a nightmare at times. But on a motorbike, you can efficiently and cautiously work your way through it while having some of the most fun you'll ever have. You'll be dodging pedestrians, rickshaws, elephants, potholes, weaving in and out of traffic, and riding with hundreds of other bikers at the same time. It's like a real life video game that's incredible incredibly exhilarating. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe three hours of going through that crazy traffic. Insane. Look at my face. Look how much stuff is on my face. That's nuts. That road is definitely one of the worst roads I've ever driven. India will have one of the most extreme driving conditions you'll ever face. You'll occasionally have to deal with extreme air pollution that'll have you cleaning dirt and contamination off your face at the end of the day. As well, the noise from traffic is unrelenting and the scorching heat that will have you sweating all day long, especially in summer. Look at the water just sweating. I mean, ugh, a pretty tough road. We're not wearing any heavy gear because it's just too hot. There's a greater risk of dehydration and heat stroke than there is you know, having an accident. You need easy and being light. Dehydration is one of the biggest risks when you ride in India, especially at high elevations as it hits you much faster than normal. So my motorcycle of choice for India is certainly a Royal Enfield. Today I'm driving an Interceptor 650. The reason is because this 650 is the most powerful thing on the road here, so I have the confidence and the ability to go as fast as I want, overtake the vehicles I need to. It allows me to be very nimble and safe when I'm on the road here. Without doubt, the bike of choice to ride in India is a Royal Enfield Bullet. It was designed in England in 1901, making it the longest lived motorcycle design in history. Since 1962, all components and assembly have solely been done in India. The Bullet has also made its way to iconic Bollywood films and is part of the mainstream culture in every way from the young to the old. This makes it a great source of pride for the Indian people, which is why if you're a foreigner riding the streets with an Indian made bike, like the Bullet, expect lots of attention. You'll get smiles, selfie requests, and lots of invitations to have some chai and chat with the locals as every Indian man, woman, or child will have some memory or connection to this famous motorcycle. Absolutely amazing how many bikers there are here. Everybody comes here for a reason because this road, this adventure, is truly one of the best road trips in the world. India is not the easiest place to ride a motorcycle. It presents unique and difficult challenges. However, if you're adventurous enough, you'll be able to experience India like a true local in the way it deserves to be explored by motorbike. Without doubt, it will be the most epic and exciting road trip of your life. Like a stadium shaking the ground. was a wonderful experience that is driving a motorbike in India. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. You got to be so quick on the stoplights though, otherwise it gets congested. So you got to try to get out of there as soon as possible. The best thing about driving a bike is you can park anywhere pretty much, which is fantastic. You know, I've driven a lot of different motorcycles around India and it's not about the bike. It's just about the adventure. It's about getting out there and doing something. Any bike can be an adventure bike. Any bike can be a travel bike. Doesn't matter what you ride. We're all brothers on the road, really. The streets here are loud and chaotic and there's so much traffic. And I absolutely love it. It is such an adventure and I cannot express the feeling I get every single time I'm on the bike here. So energizing, it's so exciting, and it really just adds this little bit of flavor to my journey here in India. Home, it's home for me, I love it, thing. Thank you, Chinese.